Hey everyone and welcome back to Everything Tech and today we're taking a look at Distro Pro by Clever Files. Before we get started I'd like to give a big thank you to Clever Files for providing this program for review. If at any time during this video you're interested in purchasing or giving this program a try, just look down in the description you're going to find their website which is cleverfiles.com and on their website you will find tons of different information about all the features that this program has to offer and if you're interested in purchasing it you can also check all the pr pricing for the program whether you want to go pro or you want to go enterprise or you want to stay at basic you can choose any of these here and if you decide to go pro or enterprise I'll give you a coupon code for 25 percent off or you can pick one from down below this program is also available for Windows and I will link this down in the description if you're interested or if you're running Windows and you want to give this a try, you can also download it for free. I've used plenty of programs in the past that claim to recover your data, but I don't think none of them come close to being as cool as Distril. Distril has two features on it that really make it one of my favorite programs. And those two features are the Recovery Vault protection and the Recovery Guaranteed Recovery protection. The Recovery Vault keeps track of all of your data in case you delete, let's say, a picture or music, you can go back and recover it. I can't really use this feature on my computer right now because it's running an SSD, but I do run it on my iMac which has a hard drive, and let's just say occasionally documents go missing because it's the computer we all use in my family. So the Recovery Vault option is able to go back and recover those files because it keeps track of them. The Guaranteed Recovery Protection, which I do use on my MacBook, keeps track of every single document. Not only does it keep track of it, it keeps a copy of it. If, and if I delete something on accident, I can always recover it using the guaranteed recovery protection. And those two features alone are one of the reasons why I love this program the most. Here I have my SD card connected, which if you haven't seen any of my videos, I put this SD card through its paces. I use it to take pictures and video on my DSLR, but at the same time I also use it for making bootable installers. And when you do that, you have to format the SD card. And occasionally I forget to back up the images and videos on the SD card and I lose those pictures forever. Thanks to Distro, I've been able to recover those files and save them onto my hard drive for backup. And to do that, all you have to do is just click on this button here. If you haven't run any recovery, it should say recover. And clicking on recovery, and it's going to load up the session, which you can save, which is really cool. You can just click on save and save it to your desktop or anywhere you want. And just click on the file and it opens. Now, every time I run a recovery on here, I like to select all files, including hidden and system ones because then that recovers each and every single thing on the SD card or whatever it is you're running the recovery on. And once you're done with the recovery, it should give you this little window here. It says where you want to recover to. And you can always choose a folder or you can recover it to your desktop. I recommend that you choose a folder and you select, for example, desktop and you make a new folder and you can name it whatever, like recovery. And create that folder and it creates that folder on the desktop but every time you recover something it's going to go to that folder and we're going to go into reconstructed files and I'm just going to show you some of the pictures I'm able to recover from my SD card I'm just going to scroll down all the way down it's not in order from age but I did notice that some of the pictures I lost were at the bottom and here you can see a picture of a an old bus that I took at the LA Auto Show and the Oscar Mayer Wiener also that I took at the LA Auto Show and that's just one example of a picture that I lost due to me not backing up my pictures properly so if I wanted to recover that picture all I have to do is just tick that little box there and recover that individual picture and if you don't want to look for that picture because you don't you don't remember where you stored it you can just click on the little uh, magnifying glass and it should take you to the image where or the recovered image which is right here and from here you can just drag and drop it anywhere you can also recover entire folders or the entire recovery folder. For example, if I just wanted to recover my JPEGs, all I had to do was just tick that little box there that includes JPEG and recover. And it'll recover all of the pictures. As you can see here, it's starting to recover everything. And it's going to send it to the recovery folder, which we created. Of course, it's going to take a while depending on how many files you're recovering. Of course, I'm recovering 198 files. And I am going to save this on the side because I want to recover all these files. But you can see here it says it's a success, the recovery, and it's almost done. We're just going to wait, and it's done. 
So we're going to click on the little magnifying glass again, and it's going to take us to all of the pictures that we recovered. Of course, I always do a test picture on my SD card just to make sure it's able to take pictures. And it's the fact that I can always go back and recover all the files from, let's say, the auto show, which I accidentally deleted. I don't think nothing beats that because look, I can always go back and I have my pictures here that I deleted and I felt so happy that I was able to do that when when I saw that this program was able to do this. And I really love that I can go back and recover and save all my files. And not only just JPEGs, of course I am running this on an SD card which is intended for pictures and video. And speaking of video, let's go into video, but you can also do this on your USB drive and recover documents. Of course, let me see what this one is about. I think my sister was using this the last time. I'm trying to see if I can find one that I erased a long time ago, but I think those are get written over really quickly. I think this is a my sister's make a video. Yep, it's my sister's make a video, and I can always recover these videos, which I'm not going to because I already have a backup of these, but if you recorded a video or you have documents that you want to recover, this is where you would do so. And that's really cool that you're able to go back and do that. It's one of the reasons why I love this, this program and the fact that it organizes all these folders based on their extensions. For example, the plist here, all the files in there are plist, so you know what you're looking for. If you have Word documents on that SD card, it's going to say docx or, or uh, pptx for PowerPoint or XCL, I think that's what the extension is for Excel spreadsheets. And you're able to go through that and of course it does allow you to view the pictures or view the documents before you export them. All you have to do is just hit the space bar but you can see here all the little documents turned green. When they turn green it means you already backed them up which is cool and you can always click on the eye here and it's going to give you a preview and that's one of the test pictures I was telling you about. Every time I take my camera out I always take a test picture to make sure that it saves the picture. Distro Pro is one of my favorite applications and hopefully soon I'll be able to make a tutorial video on how to use the program and all the features it has to offer because right now I'm just giving you my opinion on what I think of the program and what a great program it is but there are so many really cool features to the Distro Pro program that I really can't go over because then the video would be too long but just to just to go over some of the things we talked about in this video this program does offer two recovery options which have become some of my favorite one of them is a recovery vault and the other is the guaranteed recovery both of those features make this program one of my favorites and the, the fact that you can go back and view every single document that is on your SD card or your hard drive or your memory stick and recover them I don't think no other program is able to do this and the fact that the user interface is so simple anybody can use it I like that because I do like challenging and I do like hard and I do like difficulty but occasionally I just want to get things done and this program allows me to get things done everything is quick and easy simple to use so if ever I need to my sister can do this too and she's not really that computer literate and I can always go back and the fact that I can save in a session. I don't think no other program I've ever used is able to let you save your session. Now again, if you want to download this drill for Mac, links down in the description, or you can go yourself, cleverfiles.com. Here you will find more information about the program, like I said in the past. You can download the one for Windows too if you want to give that one a try. And you can also check on the pricings. Of course, if you want to go basic, you can. But if you go pro and enterprise, it gives you a little more more stuff including one user up to three max and of course coupon code down below for 25 percent off if you will choose to purchase this again thank you to clever files for sending this program in for review thank you all for watching see you all in the next video